How's it? Indian Cowboy Doc Sports dot com connector on Saturday, January the 29th, as we get this video to you every day around this time. Have your free pick winner in just a second today. A lot of content today, getting to about seven games today. Your free selection is today is between Washington and Memphis in just a second, but we've got a lot to get to. Baylor, Alabama, King Sixers, Pacers, Mavs, Celtics, Pelicans, Mississippi State, Texas Tech, Kentucky, and Kansas as well. And uh, nice free pick winner yesterday. We gave you San Jose State and New Mexico over the total. In fact, three straight free pick winners. Friday, New Mexico, San Jose State over. Thursday, Ohio State uh, over Minnesota. Monday, Lakers. So uh, 3-0, and 7-1, and 9-2, and 18-9 and nine free pick run, I believe. 36 and 18 free pick run as well. Hopefully we'll get you a nice free pick winner today. Hello, I am Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 18 years now, and Doc Sports has been around for 52 years, been around a long time. How this works is our best selections are over at DocSports.com. It is under Indian Cowboy, uh, and there's also 11 other, or not just 11, but there's many other great handicappers there, uh, so be sure to check them out as well. And um, yeah, so uh, that's our best selections are over there. You can get uh, free $60 worth of premium picks on the link below. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a YouTube Premium channel where we give you uh, an extra thought every single day uh, on the YouTube Premium channel. Plus, you get a premium Doc Sports pick for free on the channel as well, and we do a live show on top of that. So you're basically getting, um, you know, 60 extra selections a month, 30 of which are free, and then we do a live show which has at least uh, 10 extra selections there, um, which is basically now you're getting 100 extra selections a month. Um, which is pretty awesome, and every selection typically is about 30 bucks. so you can just imagine um, an extra free Docs Premium selection over the course of a month is like 1000 bucks or something. It's like $900, so pretty nice stuff, so be sure to jump on YouTube Premium. Uh, we're going to have a good YouTube Premium uh, thought uh, selection there, and we're going to add a Doc Sports Premium selection too. If you want even more content, check out our Twitter. It has our consensus polls there on the latest trends on late night ball games, which can be useful to you. Our trivia questions of the day, our poems as well, and our consensus polls on what side the public is on. What do we have on tap today? Well, we have two college basketball plays that go today, both five unit selections. We had a five unit selection yesterday on the Boise State under, and the game went to overtime. That's kind of how things have been going lately. In the NBA, we had a good selection on the Hornets, and then LeBron, you know, we knew. LeBron decides not to play along with Anthony Davis as well. And I've always believed when a star player is out, a team has a tendency to come together. Not always, but sometimes. So that injury, the last two days, both those injuries have last, have uh, been announced at like 5 p.m. So what will we do today? We'll just go with two selections. Um, can't have late injuries if we're going to have multiple selections. <laughs> so that's what we'll do. And um, we are in an 8-4 and a four, uh, run in the NBA. And um, NHL, we had a great four-unit winner on the Capitals yesterday, which we gave you for free on YouTube Premium. They ended up winning 5 nothing. There was a reason why they were only a plus-105 dog at Dallas, so it made sense. College basketball, we're not doing well right now. We look to turn it around and try to hopefully go 2-0 today, which I think we can. And then um, in uh, hockey, it's been a winning season, right? Close to 60%, plus 4,000. We hit plus 4,365 last year. In the NBA, we're plus 2,000. NFL is our pride and joy this year. Um, we've hit... 60% in the NFL, basically, plus 6,300, 15 and 6 with football top plays, which is insane. Um, out of the 15, 12 are outright winners. Uh, so we're looking forward to this seven unit and three unit selection tomorrow. So I can't wait for you to join us there. All right, let's get to your um, free play today. It is going to be on the Washington Wizards. We love that ugly duckling underdog. And um, what's nice about Washington is they have no more injuries. If you go to the injury report, it'll say none. How, do, how good does that make a team feel that's 23 and 23 when they don't even see any injuries now? So I'm happy for Washington. I like them plus the five and a half here against Memphis. It's a cardinal sin to go against Memphis these days, and I get that. But uh, it's a sinister line of sorts at five and a half. Uh, it seems like a trap there to me. But I like Washington. It makes sense. Like the Bulls line yesterday, we talked on YouTube Premium on the live show on Friday, which, by the way, is a podcast. So any YouTube Premium, even if you join today, you can get that podcast and it kind of has our football card on there, too. We basically tell you what it is, and we tell you a whole bunch of other free plays. So jump on that. But uh, And that's on that. Uh, the link is in the comment section pinned for YouTube Premium. But Washington won by 28 points last time, and Washington has no injuries to report as well. So how does a team win by 28 points against Memphis last time? And Memphis has revenge, and yet they're only a 5.5-point uh, favorite. Like, look at Indiana today. They're an 11-point favorite. I'm sorry, look at Dallas today. They're an 11-point favorite over Indiana today. That's because Dallas has revenge against Indiana and those young guys. Is it that impossible to think Memphis can't be like a nine-point favorite today over Washington with revenge, especially after a 20-point loss? Sure, but they're not. 
I think Washington hangs tough today. I think Washington gets up to face Memphis. They've lost, what, four in a row now? Just five and a half point dogs there. And I can see them sort of busting out after four straight losses. And I'll take Washington plus the five and a half as your freebie today. And I think this line will also move up to six as well by game time. Also like my Alabama Crimson Tide today, plus the four and a half against Baylor. Scary. Uh, it might even go to plus five. But the number four team in the land here in Baylor facing Alabama, and they're only a four and a half point dog. Difficult game for Alabama. I get that. But they're not overlooking Baylor, who's number four in the country and, and you know, obviously an NCAA champion recently. Auburn is on deck two for Alabama. Baylor six and two in conference play. Baylor did not look past Kansas State at all. And they crushed Kansas State in their last game. But Alabama's 13-7 and seven and does have some major wins this year. They beat Gonzaga. They beat Houston. Many power rankings, even though Alabama's 13-7, and seven, have them as a top 20 team. They beat Houston as well and Gonzaga. They just lost to Georgia in a horrendous game. The worst team in the SEC, and Alabama loses to them because they were looking ahead to this game. And they took a lot of criticism from the faithful, including me. I mean, I'm not critical. I love Nate Oates, but... The Alabama faithful were critical losing to Georgia because they lost him in the title game as well. Um, but, of course, Alabama, you know, six titles in the last, what, 10, 11 years. So sharing is caring. You know, we've got to let Georgia win at something. So, um, But I do like Alabama plus the points here. I think they hang tough against Baylor after the horrible loss that they suffered against Georgia. Like the Kings plus the points too. Tough to go and get the Sixers. But Philly won by eight points last time, 102-94. Kings have lost every game on this road trip. This team needs a star badly. They just need to go out and give up a bunch of assets and finally go get a star. Maybe it's Ben Simmons. I don't know. They just beat the Lakers with no LeBron. Philly did. Philly's won three in a row now. Philly has Ja and Memphis on deck though. Speaking of a star, Ja Morant is a star. But uh, after losing so many games, I think the kids, Kings actually do pretty well here today, and I think they probably hang inside the number. Sixers off that big win against the Lakers as well. Um, and the thing about the Kings, they were actually up by 12 points after the first quarter against the Hawks, and then they sort of, um, you know, uh, sort of, you know what, the bed. So lean on the Pacers today over the Mavs. I know Indiana won by 13 last time, and no doubt. But the thing is that Carlisle loves to, would love to troll Mark Cuban by winning. Uh, by sweeping the season, uh, season series here against the Mavs. I kind of feel bad for him because he has so many guys out, but these young guys can play for the Pacers. Um, they beat the Blazers. Um, I mean, the, the Mavericks just beat the Blazers in a route, but the Pacers are off of a win themselves. They beat Oklahoma City. They play hard. I can see them hanging tough here against the Mavericks. Um, I know the Mavericks won't take them lightly, but I still think the Pacers can hang tough here. These young Pacers, led by Sabonis and company, they're not playing bad at all, and Duarte and and guys, so I think they hang tough. And I remember on this road trip, uh, the previous road trip, they had beaten Golden State and the Lakers with a similar lineup too. Give me the Pacers. Lean on them. also like the Celtics today, but it seems like a trap. But I do like the Celtics. Celtics are off that bad loss to the Hawks. And the Pelicans are off that loss to the Nuggets. No Graham, Ingram, or Valanciunas but for Boston uh, or for New Orleans. But Boston won by 12 last time between these two teams. Boston only went 7 for 36 from three-point land last game. Graham was listed, just played last game, now is listed questionable again. Is it really that easy? I'll still to lean on the Celtics here, coming off that loss. Like Mississippi State against Texas Tech, I'll take the points. You have a 13-6 and six and a 15-5 and five team here. Just lost to Kentucky in overtime as well, which is pretty impressive for Mississippi State. Uh, Mississippi State has Texas Tech, uh, who just lost in double overtime to Kansas. And that was a revenge game for Kansas, so that was pretty awesome that Texas Tech nearly swept Kansas for the year. Texas Tech is a great team, but I'll take the points here because Mississippi State is a top 40 defense, and I just don't know how much Texas Tech cares about Mississippi State. I think Texas Tech would have loved to play like Arkansas or Ole Miss, even one of the other teams, not Mississippi State. So lean on Mississippi State. Kentucky, Kansas. I got to go with Kentucky here, even though the public likes Kentucky and the points. Kansas coming off that thrilling double OT win against Kansas. The thing here is that Kentucky comes off an overtime win of themselves against Mississippi State, but they played really bad against Mississippi State. And uh, Calipari loves the Kansas area. He started his coaching career there. He said he's met his wife there as well. If you listen to one of his press conferences, Calipari, you know, again, used to work in Kansas. It's hard to go against Kansas, but I lean on Kentucky because Kansas comes off that emotional win against Texas Tech, and Kentucky's off that shaky game against Mississippi State, and Kentucky lost to them last year, too. I'll take the points there. YouTube Premium have a great selection here between Oklahoma State and Florida, which I think will hit for you, and um, also have um, a premium Doc Sports selection on the late NBA game tonight as well. Hope you guys are doing great. Please take a moment, like, and subscribe. And uh, YouTube Premium, you will get college basketball premium tomorrow. And we'll just kind of cycle through like that. Hope you guys are doing well. Please take a moment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.